Welcome to New York. Welcome to another episode of We Them Niggas. Today we're live here in the Station 3 space, courtesy of the guys over at Archive. Thank you all so much. I'm here with Life of Tom. Welcome, Life of Tom. Amazing to have you. Congratulations on this new album release, the release party you just had this weekend. Thank you. Uh, you're really in a moment. So yes, talk sir. to us. How are you feeling today? I ain't gonna lie, I feel like shit low-key, because mm. I've been sick for like the last four days. But I'm Gucci. No COVID. No COVID, yeah, but but that's that's real. There's ups and downs. Yes, I, but I, I feel great though. I feel great. I feel great. Yeah, I hear you though. But you've been dealing with some wellness issues, and and I appreciate you being here in spite of that. That this. Oh yeah, man. I mean, you, we've been we've been talking straight for like what three four days now. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I, th I was gonna say it takes. I feel like it says a lot about your hustle in general. Like I feel like you take music super seriously. I've been talking to you about how I'm trying to onboard my stuff to Notion, get organized. Yeah. You're like, you'll be my Notion sensei. You're really did, you're really on it. Did like, you start it yet? Yeah, I did. Like I've been setting it up. You mentioned it earlier. I was gonna be like, yo. I, I, was like, I can show you what it's like. like. I'll show you after, but right. I think it's dope. Like you approach me like a CEO, you're organized, you're thinking ahead, you're thinking about the music business, like you were saying earlier. Um, I love to hear about, you know, how did you get, how did you come up in the New York music scene? And, you know, how do you see where you are right now inside of like uh, your vision of where you want to go? Word. Uh, um, that's crazy. You always ask me a lot of questions. That's one you never asked me before. Uh, I've been how waiting. The, <laughs> I came up in the New York scene. Um, honestly, I really just, Tapped in with a bunch of open mics when I, you know what I mean? I got around, like, that community heavy. Um, and I, there was, like, mad creatives uh, that was just jumping out the blue. And it was doing all these cool events. So, you know, I pop out to a lot of these a lot of these joints, you know. Um, and the crossover was really, like, when I went to South by Southwest for the first time. Mm. Facts. And I came back and I was like, oh, shit. Um, there's, like, way more to this shit. And honestly, just being around different circles, uh, pushing my shit consistently, and I mean, playing all around New York, you know, selling out most of these venues for real. That's where we at now, and just being a real nigga. I fuck with it being Facts. a real nigga. That's that's that's, that's really that's really it. That's really it. That's, that's really it. That's all it takes to have a good life. That's what they say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I fuck with it. And and what does it mean to be where you are right now? Like inside this new project release, what does this release mean to you? What does it signify? Uh, Bro, it really signifies like, yo, like a good standing. I'm gonna say like you know, success in general means just means not being bothered. Mm. That has and that to me means like, all right, all my shits on check. You know, teams on check. This rollout's on check, you know, money in, money out, on check, mm -hmm. you know, whole system on check. And, you know, but right now with, like, everything going on, it feels it feel great, bro. Like, that ass, you know, success. It's feel like the world, I'm pumping my hands, you know what I mean? And that that that's a that's a quote that can be perceived in many different ways. I, like, I mean, I fuck with it. And something I was going to step back and say is, like, what you're saying with everything on check, what I'm really hearing is things are going by design. Yeah, uh, and and I think it's incredible. Like like I said, looking at your notion, you just screenshot you sent me. Like I think a lot of people Fucking don't notion. really like aren't as organized. Like aren't as intentional for real about like like the way they approach their stuff. Oh, uh, deep, I think like a lot of people want to outsource the organization or the communication stuff like that. Um, and my experience is that you take a lot of that stuff like head on. What does your team look like around music? Um, the team right now. So, um, it's about a good five six people. Mm -hmm. Um, I got them split up in all different roles. So I got like my day to day, shout out to my boy Vicey and Sean. Um and then I have like my overseers, you know, they the ones that's like doing a lot of the pitching to like the labels and handling like the brand partners and sponsors and stuff. And then, you know, the ones over and th those guys are like on the West Coast. Um and the ones over here it's the same, same job, except they just have more of a leverage because we in New York. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um so, and then, then there's my lawyer, Charles Jackie, um, and then it's me. But, you know, I'm the one pretty much doing everything times 10 mm -hmm. because I want to make everyone's positions as easy as possible so they can do way more for me. Facts. And that's the beautiful thing to see. I'm sure there are people who want to be on artist teams or people who are on artist teams who wish people were taking on more so that their jobs were easier and they could deliver at a higher level. I mean, bro, it's like, Cause you telling me like, yo, like I see your man working, like, bro, you have to be, you know, if you want to have a team, you got to like set that standard for what, whatever that shit looks like for you, f for yourself first. And you know what I mean? I'm not going to say like, I never had help with this shit. Um, and that's only all just been me, but like a large sum of it, 
yeah, you know, the ground, the groundwork has to come from the artist always. Yep. Like that's just how it has to be. And so how it's like, uh, I, I discovered these of the NFT space through our friend Daniel McGill Mutual. Back shop, and I'm dude. curious, you know, how, like, how did you get into that space? And, you know, how has, like, that work ethic served you in that space? Web3 was a really nice uh, curve in the learning. Um, because at first, like, I remember it stood out to something like, oh, this is something else I could build off, like, financials and, like, other things I could put into other assets for real, you know, just knowing like, just like trading, you know, with stocks before and shit like that, feel me? But then like, you know, I started to look at it even bigger, like, yo, I want to be like one of the head honchos when this shit blow the fuck up. Like, I want to be able to be one of those dudes on the front line, you know, and kind of like give that inspiration to others in the creative space because, cause, you know, it's a Pandora's box that really got unlocked, you know, when you look at NFT and you know, potential is, is crazy. Um, what What do you see the potential as? Like, what are what are some opportunities that you've had in this space and learning experiences, uh, tools? Like, you were at South by Southwest. Yeah. Uh, were you at any, like, Web3 kind of centric events there, see any people? Like, Yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when I was at South by, uh, I wouldn't even say this year, though, last year when I played, there were way more Web3 events. Mm. Um, and it's even for Art Basel, too. You know, the benefits I see... And, like, just the, the opportunities I've gotten from, you know, from, like, partnering with Catalog Works when they first came out, you know. Like, that was so fire because, like, you know what I mean? Like, just, you know, see artists like Mick Jenkins, you know, dropping on there crazy. You know, he was he was on top of it. So, um, you know, to, you know, have an opportunity to be in, that, be in the space so early. But on top of that, you know, in that community that had, a you know, a backing so fresh for me was, like, so far um and i think like you know being in tune like like shouts latasha man that's that's really my big sister like a lot of people don't know this but me and taj fake go back um a couple years like i dropped the record with her off this project i did in like 2018 um and what was the name of the record uh, it was called oh it was called bonnie and clyde facts shout out latasha i just met her at friends of benefits fest this year right yo bro she is a sweetheart man and uh you know, my guy, Matt Bond, that's my dude. He was the one that he was the one that really introduced me to the NFT to the NFT space. Shouts shouts that man. Um and the first person he had me link with was Latasha. I was calling her up like early twenty twenty one and she that's when she did Zora. You know, she became the she became the head of uh uh, uh communi com community over at Zora. Um and then she did Zoratopia and there's mad opportunities that came from, you know, being in all these different spaces and NFTs because a lot of them, like, fed, I would say, the brand awareness, you know, of what, you know, my shit is. As much as, like, as I feel, a lot of, like, where Web3 and its protocol stands doesn't really fit, you know, the system that the industry really work off of. It's just facts, to be honest. It, you know, to build outside of that is technically the goal, you know. So to see the end of, you know, NFTs and what Web3 really reflects on that end. For me, I was just like, all right, but let me get in this now. So I have that in my arsenal. No, yeah, and I think that's dope, right? Like you're saying you want to be like one of the head honchos. Like, oh, yeah. Like for real, even like myself, like getting into this space, I was like, okay, like, you know, how, how can I add value? How can I right. prepare? How can I be like, uh, be ready per se when, yeah. you know, when things pop off and like a way to be able to capitalize yep. on this market moving when attention shifts. Yes. Um, trying to educate artists and creatives so they could also capitalize the opportunities and, and, and see ways to, to find community and people like yourself, um, you know, who are, who are, who are influential in this space and thinking oh, creatively yeah. and oh, yeah. uh, solving problems that people don't even know exist, you know, cause oh, it's yeah. not like real life, life, life consequential, but yeah. in terms of there being progress in this space, it, it is important. Dude, there was, there was, I think this space has so, I think this space was so crazy to see in terms of progress mm -hmm. from like a, you know, like Web3 kind of like its own uh, starting company in a way. And to see that so early for that, bro, like the swarm of people, you know, it really, I think it was beautiful to see like people being open to a system very, very rare I mean, in terms of like people don't understand that type of shit man mm. they don't you know so i th i think it's cool uh just to see what it is you know i i, I, re I want to see the shit through facts okay and that's so that, that's what's in like the rear view and so what's in the, what's in the future for life of tom like you just had this album release like what are the next six months the next quarter what does the start of 2024 look like for you what are we looking out for what should we be excited about yo man i'm dropping a single with fergie baby 
Okay. Facts. Uh, top of January. That's my guy right there. Um, Who's Fergie Baby? Tell us about Fergie Baby. Yo, Fergie Baby. That's one of my favorite artists from Harlem right now. Oh, yeah? He is going nuts. Yo, if y'all get the chance, check out his music. That's That dude is... That dude is crazy, man. He got Shout this, out track. Shout out track. Yo, yo, y'all got to bump that Suburbans. That shit hard. But really, Suburbans, Fergie Baby. You know what I mean? Yeah, nah, he's he's crazy. Um, And uh, that's that's off our album, actually. Um, You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's coming out next year. Uh, we got... Well, I got, like, show run up, a um, couple, like, you know, got, like, merch I'm working. Uh, I'm super excited to put out. Uh, but, I mean, I've, I've been working on, like, mad, like, production, you know, send out for placements. So, like, you know, I ain't gonna lie. We fake just, like, locked in something cool. I don't, I, I can't really announce it right now. But, like, I'm, yeah, I'm mad excited for that. You know, Web3, too, like, just to, you know, keep motion active in that. Um, there is a deluxe for the for the project we for just real? put out, yeah, yeah, it's a deluxe that's, that's coming exciting. out. Tune into that. Yeah, we now we got some crazy names on that one, man. Um, but I don't, I don't know, bro. It's so much, but that's that's the stuff I'm 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 super excited for. In general, it's just just the experience and what new characters is we about to meet. You feel me? I like it. It's an adventure. Yeah, I think I think it's beautiful to be able to get a, a window into your adventure Facts, and bro. into your team. I think having a team is so important. You know, what I mean, I think I'm world. privileged to have that shit, bro. That ass. I'm not even gonna lie with you, man. Like, I don't see mad situations for people, and like, I be looking at my shit. And I just be like mad grateful because, you know, like if I ain't have a consistent, you know, like, pl- you know, foundation, you know, platform for myself. I mean, even just. You know, living in New York where, like, bro, there's money everywhere. Feel me? Like, yeah. Uh, I hear it. the casino in New York is a good place to busk. Facts. But, uh, uh, they be going crazy. <laughs> uh, but what I, what I was going to say is I was going to ask, like, the, the album, uh, how did you come to name the album, what you did? Uh, what's your favorite song off the, off the project? That's kind of how I like to close out the interview. Yo, my favorite song off, well, first off, I called it Room 44 because um, in numerology, four is a representation of order. Um, and when you put four and four together, that gives you eight. You know what I mean? Eight represent infinity when you flip that. Um, so, feel me, it felt like I was stepping into a timeless zone, you know, a hyperbolic time chamber that you kind of never really step out of, you know. It's it's a it's an infinite sparring session, low-key, mm. you know, and I felt like, all the words and the songs on this project was really reflecting like, damn, this dude, like, like, damn, I'm in tune with like a part of myself that's like really like strong, you know? Um, my favorite song. Mm. Shabbat mm. with CJ Fly. Facts. That's 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 by the way, I'm not Jewish. Everybody thinks I'm Jewish because of that song. I'm not Jewish. Yeah, I thought it was funny. I invited my 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 Jewish friend here. Hello, and... Jewish friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, and what's it called? I was gonna when I was listening to it on the train. I was like, dang, I wonder why he named it this. Yeah, uh, yeah, but... no, it's for, no, literally, like you know, it, it's like stepping in a world, man. That you know, what I mean, like I've been doing this shit for the, for a couple years now, though. Like I feel like right now, you know, like we really picking up on emotion right now and a momentum that's like. For me, I was low key like, you know, desiring for a minute, and I think the way it manifested with like what the meaning and purpose of this project is is very full circle, you know, in terms of my growth and just who I am as a person. So, you know, room forty four, room forty four. There you have it. Well, it's been beautiful to have you on today's episode of We Them Niggas. We uh, Them Niggas. Yes, sir. Just Niggas. like that. Uh, and you want to let them know where they can find you on social media and whatnot. Life of T H O M, Life of Tom. That's at everything. Google Life of Tom, Life of Tom dot com. It's the big bon voyage. It's the big floor 11, room 44. Comb your hair. I cook better than you. All right. Boom, boom, boom. There you have it. Booyah. And there we have another episode of We Them Niggas. Uh, thank you so much, Tom Thomas, for being here with My us. Why?